Ladies and gentlemen, Athens, Georgia's longest running and only trivia show. Close enough. Tonight's contestants are Bart Buckaloo and Clark Stancil. Here's your host, Thomas <laughs> Bauer. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Close Enough, the only game show where you don't have to be right. You just have to be close, close enough. enough. All right, guys. So now we have a very special edition. We have two people from the same house. <laughs> Mark and Clark. Let me explain the rules to you guys at home and people in the studio who don't know how to play. First of all, we have six categories tonight. The categories are horror films, Ooh. Ooh, poets, TV ah. sitcom theme songs. Okay. Uh, George history. This is history of people named George. <laughs> <laughs> um, pot- potables, which is a yeah. mixture. And Thomas, as always. And um, basically, I'm going to ask a question. Whoever answers right first gets the question correct. Or if you guys both answer and uh, neither of you are right, the person who's close enough gets it right. And um, then you get to pick the next category. Every fifth question will be a list category. You'll pick a category and have... 30, oh, 60 seconds, is that what we yeah, yeah, yeah. 60 seconds to list as many things in that category as you can. One point for each one. The goal of this game is not to get, uh, wait, wait. <laughs> it's to get <laughs> close enough to 100 points. You don't have to, I mean, if you get over 100 points, you lose. And there's no, there's no final wager thing. I know I know sometimes. <laughs> no it more wagers. Never works out. No more wagers. All right, so, <laughs> what, what was the coin toss, what did the coin toss say? Uh, I believe it was Bart. All right, so pick a category, Bart. Um... I think I might start with poets, please. Interesting. Oh, and don't forget, you have two lifelines, both of which are Ask Cameron. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Can you hear me talking, Cameron? No. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> no. Can you hear me talking? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Technical difficulties. One, two. All right, it's working now. Um, I guess camera's not going to be on this show. <laughs> oh, man, this microphone's not working. Oh, they didn't hear the theme song or any of the rules. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Well, for update at home, uh, Bart's going first, and Clark's on here, too. Okay, so poets. Um, her most famous works include 1969, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. and My Angelou. Correct. Ooh. Cameron, get closer to me. <laughs> There's a sleeping bag right here. Uh, right in the middle. Point to Mr. Buckaloo. All right, that's working now. Sweet. Close enough. All right, next category. Potent potables. All right, let's see now. Ooh, this is a good one. Where? where uh, <laughs> this vodka drink was a favorite of the serial killers and Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. Vodka is amazing. Mixed drink. Vodka Scott? tonic. Ooh, what are you, you going to say, Clark? I'm going to say Bloody Marys. Ooh, the correct answer is a uh, screwdriver. So uh, I think uh, I think Clark gets that one. <laughs> Bart tonic's a little bit closer. There is juice in in mine. Bart, you were close enough. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pick the next category. Um, I think I'll have uh, horror films. Ooh. All right. I'm skipping around. Oh yeah. 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 Um, this was the second film in R- Polanski's apartment trilogy and starred Mia Farrow as a troubled young woman. Um, oddly enough, in 2008, Michael Bay was set to produce uh, a remake of this. Rosemary's Baby? Correct. Oh, oh, Bart's on a roll. Did you know Michael Bay was going to make a remake of that movie? Did wow. Michael Bay, the guy who did Transformers? Uh, uh, awesome. Yes. Yeah. That would be <laughs> great. Got canceled. Why? Uh, actually, a year ago. I don't know. Yeah. It's going to be great. Fools. Lots more explosions. <laughs> uh, next category. Bart. I'll have a George history. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Right. Okay, so in this category, the, I'm going to ask you about a famous George, mm-hmm. and um, I want you to tell me his name. So, you know, I can't think of anybody named George, but uh, me neither. <laughs> Sherman Hemsley played this man oh. who, through hard work, working at a laundromat, moved up to the top, to the big time, from a sitcom. I know what it is. You can answer. George Jefferson. Yeah. Oh. I did, so I can steal if I know. Yeah. Okay. Whoever answers first. I had no idea. 
I not the audience at home has no idea either, by the way, because they didn't get anything, including so, the beautiful bro, theme song. I think what actually happened is the headphones I was wearing weren't on. <laughs> <laughs> because now they're on. They're really the professionalism high. around here is but astounding. It is 12 o'clock. Yeah, it is. Midnight radio. Ooh. Um, I have TV uh, sitcoms. All right, I'm going to play a TV sitcom theme song, and I want you to identify. Turn the monitor to the left a little so I don't cheat. Watching you. We're trying to get a partition installed. <laughs> you really dug around for this one. It's Mary Tyler Moore's show. Yes, that is correct. Wow. God. God. A nothing day and suddenly make, make it all, it all seem, seem worthwhile. worthwhile. Well, it's you, girl. And, and you, you should, should know, know it. it. <laughs> um, I will have... Um... Remember, this is going to be a list question. Ooh. Yes, this is the... Ooh. All right, the can I have questions? the... I have sitcoms again. Is that possible? No, that's not possible. Okay. That's the only one you can't do. Okay. Yes. Um, then I'll have George. Damn History it, George. of George. Right. God damn it. A list of George. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be, uh, this is kind of a stretch. Um, of all the Georges, my favorite is George Clinton. Name as many Parliament albums as oh, you no. Hmm. Wait, does Parliament Funkadelic and Funkadelic? Yes, yeah, what I'm saying? Okay. What's your favorite Parliament album? Yeah. Which came first, uh, Parliament, Parliament cigarettes or the British Parliament? I think. The yeah. Cigarettes were named after the government. <laughs> but what? And then the bands named after cigarettes. I am not gonna get the bands named after the government. I don't know. Maybe. He is. Let's ask George Clinton. He's not here. He oh, he did an interview with the blog recently. Really? Yeah, last Friday. That's right. He was around here. Yeah, I wonder what that was like. Yeah, I don't know any albums. So. Not. I was surprised. I only knew like two. There's a whole. A lot of them have funk in the name. That helps. Ninety <laughs> percent of them probably. In fact, if you have funk in the name, it's probably going to be close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new instrument. What about human voice? This is killing me. <laughs> oh, that is loud. All right, you have ten seconds left. I am making up things. You might be close enough. Time is up! Let's see what they have. Cameron, read the answers for the people. <clears throat> Mr. Stencil has Parliament Funkadelic. <laughs> Funkadelic. Parliament. George Clinton and Parliament. Funk. Funky. Funk fast. I wanna funk. Wanna funk? I think that one was directed at you, Cameron. <laughs> we are three. These last three, yes. I wanna funk and wanna funk. <laughs> uh, what do you think? None, okay, of, those we get, are, none of those no, are really Maybe for Tobias Funk, but alright, let's see this. So one point. One point. Uh, Mothership Connection? Yes. Dr. Funk mm -hmm. something. Uh, Technicelli. Technicelli. Chocolate City. Yes. And oh Funk in, in, in the Dark. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, no, I didn't read it right. It's Funkin It to Death. You forgot the uh, tromba, tromba Pulation, Glory Hall is Stupid, Motor Booty Affair, oh. um, Funk and Technicelli versus the Placebo System, and um, Up from the Downstroke, and mm. Osmium. Clap, let's funk, man. <laughs> it's Midnight Radio. An album question. Yeah, yeah. I like. I was not expecting that. That puts uh, Bart Buckaloo at four points ahead with seven, and Mr. Stencil has three. Tell me something about yourself, Bart. Um. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next category. Uh, you should go now. What is? What uh, Bart gets to go. Bart. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go back to poets. Ooh, let's go back to the future. This American modernist won the Pulitzer Prize for his collected works in 1955, which included such classics as Sunday Morning, The Snowman, and 13 Ways of Looking at a Blackbird. Just say someone. You have to be right. No, no. Can you say something? It could be. No, no, I'm not, can, uh, I'm not can, gonna say anything. Y'all can use the uh, lifeline. 
I'm not going to use that either. Okay. I yeah, I do. I think I did. I think Clark's going to get the point for that. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. No, so y'all don't even want to use me as a lifeline? You'll have the option. Okay, I'll use Cameron as a lifeline. Jack something? No. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Jack. <laughs> oh, Car- no, no, he's not. Uh, Jack Kerouac was not a poet. Yeah, um, it's not who I was well, talking he about. Wrote, he was real poetically, but yeah. the answer is Wallace Stevens. Wallace yeah. Stevens. Snowman is I great convinced poet. you to use it. See with the eyes of a snowman, man. Uh, right. Jack Frost. You're so foolish, Jack Frost. That wasn't even close. Next. God damn it! <laughs> Remember, we can't say God damn it. Wait, no, Clark got the point. <laughs> you just said Bart, you mutt. No, dude. They sound alike. Bro. All right, pick the next category, Clark. Um, I will have TV sitcoms again, please. All right. You know the rules. Um, oh no. Oh, it's the odd couple. Yes. Wow. There's always someone out here who gets all the TV ones, man. Which means that I wasted my entire childhood. No. <laughs> yeah. I spent a good majority of my life watching sitcoms. Nick at Night. Can all I have... Offensive. I will have sitcoms again. Please. All right. Is there like a limited number of these? <laughs> there, there's only five of each. Okay. Of each one. I Dream of Genie. Oh, my ah, God. Damn. <laughs> I got, I'll stop now. <laughs> all right. The GDs. Uh, <laughs> We're getting fined every time. Um, can I have... <laughs> I'll change it up and have history of George again. All right, George history. Um, Catching up with Bart here. This comedian who lived to be a hundred, despite George Carlin. Yeah. Uh, no. no. Oh. Uh, this comedian who lived to be a hundred, despite his constant cigar smoking, went from vaudeville all the way to his film career, much of which was based around his relationship with his wife Gracie Allen. Oh, it's um uh, George Allen. No. George. Uh, <laughs> Do you have an answer? What's his name? No. Mitchell? You have no answer at all. Isn't no answer better than three wrong answers? <laughs> no, not on close enough. No. But he's, cl- he's close enough. He said, he said, at least you said George. All right. Um, I'll give the point to Clark. What, what is the George Burns. George Burns. Okay. Yeah. yeah you, it's usually cool. better to say something. <laughs> every time I told my mother If you said smoke, George said, Babowski, George you would have gotten it. Every day of his life, he lived to be 100. <laughs> it's true. Yes. Yeah. Couple of cigars a day. It is a tie ball game now. Oh my god! Oh. Seven to seven. Ooh, this is tying her up. Crazy I gotta get back control of the board. I know what's missing. There we go. All right, next question to uh, Clark. Um, can I have TV sitcoms again? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maintaining domination. I know what I'm good at. I gotta stop choosing poets. I'm not good at that. that one, no one ever gets those because he doesn't. <laughs> I'm an English major. I know. Uh, bewitched. Yes. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> I thought we were singing the Jupiter song. <laughs> Maybe that's what Jupiter sounds like. It did. That was like a sound effect. That wasn't even a song, and oh, you this called is it. Montgomery, yeah. Space. <laughs> All right. Um, Point to Clark. I think it's time for another list question, guys. It is. Pick a category. Um. Uh, I'll have poets. Whoa. Oh. That's a list question. All right. Ballsy. No, Thomas, no too late. <laughs> We can do Thomas if you want. Let's do Thomas. All right. Let's do Thomas. This one's always, <laughs> right. this one's always a real quagmire. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> since moving to Athens, list everybody I've ever lived with. Ooh. Ooh, you have 60 seconds. You fucked <laughs> What about last names? Do we get points for those? Sure. Oh. You get Aliases. Uh, Aliases? Yeah. This is, a, this is a name drop game. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you live with, Cameron? Uh, Joey Cusack. <laughs> is that a real person? That is a real. That is exactly. You told me I. I you you <laughs> told me I did. I wasn't. Just, or, since you GA. Yeah. Okay. You told me I wasn't a real person the other day. I was a ghost. <laughs> so yes, I have a real roommate too. I'm real, and I have a real roommate. <laughs> I don't think you're real. But Joey Cusack is too great. Is the character in um, History of Violence? It has the same oh, name, yeah, Joey Cuso. It's a great name. I don't think I'm hearing the piano when I do this. Maybe I am. All right, time is up. Time's up, boys. Put your pencils down. All right. I don't live with Max Wagon, but tell you right now. 
<laughs> Emma McLeod, uh, Reef Diaspora. <laughs> diaspora. <laughs> I wasn't sure of his last name. It I counts. He's know. foreign. It counts. Wes Austin. Cameron question mark. Yep. No, might as well. <laughs> I have a Cameron question mark too. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher right Christopher Grimmett. Yes. Alright. Uh Catherine. It says Catherine, Amelia, and Brent's couch at parties. Oh yeah. That's, that's, that's so true. lame. That, <laughs> that that might count. Wait, you can't keep writing these things down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that boy. <laughs> okay. Those last two yeah. I those last two are omitted. Uh Lewis Arnold. Yes. Emma McLeod. Yep. Ricky Ditchins. <laughs> Joe Fi. Question mark. <laughs> Cameron question mark. No. Reith. No, I don't live with Reith. Well, I guess. you pause about that, Cameron? You know? Well, he lives next he door. next door. Yeah. Almost counts. Not, unfortunately, not under the same roof. And I got his name right. You did. That's Gupta. Uh, All right, well, we got three points for Bart here. And two. You we were not counting Ricky Digits? We did say aliases. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That, oh, no. Oh, an alias in place of Lou. All right, let's not give it. Oh. <laughs> if that's not close enough, I don't know what is. <laughs> Whoa, do I get a, enough. Do I get a point for the couch? <laughs> you got two points, okay. Clark. I also lived with uh, Jared Rogers for a little got bit. Got three. Oh, uh, it is a tie game again. Where ten did to you ten. Live with Jared? And Wyatt and Maisie and Sarah Morris. Uh, uh, Sam Monster and Andrew McFarland and... Uh, William Kennedy. I'm, that's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy yeah. summer. It was all during three months. Couch surf. Uh, it was spooky. Um, it wasn't really couch surfing. I had a room, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, next category. A, to uh, who's what? It scores ten to ten. It, but Bart got the most in the last one, so it's Bart's right, choice. Pick the next category. I'm glad uh, this is close. Uh, let's see. Four films. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Which one is it? Good? A Tale of Spooky Ham Forest? That's not a toy. Um, three film students, Heather Donahue, Josh Leopard, and Michael C. Williams, attempt to capture the spirits in a Blair, Blair Witch Project. Project. Yes, oh, that's correct. We said that at the same time. What, do you, what are we going to say, judges? It looked like Bart had it. <sighs> but, but very close. I'm a slower talker than Bart. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next category. I love another horror film. Ooh. Um, Wes Craven directed this 1970s gore fest whose scenes of sadism and rape led the UK to refuse its release. This Texas one. Chainsaw Mess. What are you going to say? Uh, Dracula. It's good. I'm going to have to go with Clark. That's not the right answer. It's close enough, though. The right answer was Last House on the Left. Mm. It's a great movie. Okay. Clark, you were closest. I will, I've tried horror films again, I think. Right. Let's see now. Uh, they're here. Poultry Guys. E.T. Oh. No. <laughs> E.T. Why would it be E.T.? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even a horror film. I thought it was pretty scary. Yeah. But uh, it's not E.T. Scary how humans... Treat other yeah. beings. Yeah. yeah. And other extraterrestrials. <laughs> um, Clark, how did you meet Cameron? Why do we always do this one? This, I this think I met Cameron. That's uh, icebreaker. <laughs> I'm not sure when I met him, but I started remembering him <laughs> when, <laughs> when um, that stupid thing came out in the red and black. And you thought it was really funny. Oh yes, yeah. the legendary photo where they lied to you and said it was for an art project. Yeah. Oh, yes. Jason Flynn is an executive at Wuog now. <laughs> True story. Wow. Sports director. Who'd have thunk it? That guy likes sports. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. That was a miserable to, article. Uh, Clark. Clark. Oh, okay. I'll have. Um, I'll have the. No, no, what are we doing? Bart had said it. Bart had poltergeist. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, you did. We're all just messing up around here. I think I might have uh, forgotten the category or something. Um, horror films, poets, yeah. TV sitcoms, George history, potent yeah. potables, and comics. Ah, potent potables. Yeah, yeah, you guys, I thought you what guys a ripoff. I love drinking. Um, uh, let's see. This cocktail is composed primarily of bourbon, sugar, and water. Old fashioned. And along with another ingredient, which mint was. Mint julep. Yeah, it's mint julep. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say it's a favorite of uh, Senator Henry Clay. Ah. 12 to 12. This yeah, is a. They, uh, next... Introduced it to Washington, D.C. So I had no idea. Getting a lot of the bar up there. Can I have. Um, uh, I'll have potent potables. All right. Um, this eastern sounding beverage is composed of gin, cherry gin curing, and Moscow Benedictine, mule. and fresh pineapple juice. It's 
You said it's foreign sounding? Yeah. You said Eastern, didn't you? I said Eastern sounding. As in Oriental? Or? Like Oriental. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just, um, who do you think got their answer? They didn't, they didn't I say, said they didn't Moscow s- Mule. I said Gimlet. Which, but that's <laughs> there's something to that. I think I'll give the point to Bart. Yeah. yeah. Close enough. The answer was Singapore Sling. Oh, oh I knew that. Uh, it didn't oh, matter. Oh, so close. <laughs> 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 they aren't even Chinese in Singapore. Are they not? I think it's majority Chinese. <laughs> Is I think it? you're more racist for thinking I was being Chinese than that. <laughs> what, what, what were you doing? I, what was I doing? Oh, but they're, they're, oh no, but they're Muslim Chinese. That's what threw me off. Oh, yeah, that's what threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to Singapore? Cameron's a bigot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next category. Oh, no. uh, next category. Another potent Wait, who got it? Who got it? Bar got it. All right. Yeah, Bar got it. Uh, all right. This frat favorite often incorporates Red Bull into the mixture. Oh. And often... Jaeger two, bomb? Uh, two chopsticks are placed... Saki bomb. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear you say potent potables. You did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> did he? Did he? Did, 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 did. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I think he did. He <laughs> <laughs> just kept reading the same one. <laughs> All right, next category. Potent potables. <laughs> Feist recently penned a song after this oh brandy cocktail, god. which is said. Brandy to be- Alexander. Yes. Good God, boy. Never listened to that song. This man's been drinking all the time. Brandy Al- It's named after uh, Alexander II, Tsar of Russia. It sounds was, very interesting. I was gonna say that. Brandy Alexander is pretty good. Interesting yeah. enough, he never drank that drink. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's used your, your guidance tonight. <laughs> you sound like so you fucking real. Nobody's picked the Thomas category yeah. even. Well, um, next category. It's about that time. Bart. Four potent potables again. <laughs> <laughs> Those Thomas categories. Always I wish really we had some of these drinks. <laughs> I think that was the last. Uh, yeah, you used up all of them. Uh, uh, yeah, you had. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, oh, it's time for a list question, actually. So you can do potent potables list question. Actually, we were okay. Yeah, we're kind of we're behind on the list question. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay. List question. let's do it. It's an interesting one. All right. Um, list as many gin cocktails as you can. Gin based cocktails, and I'm not talking. Oh, these guys are professionals. I'm not They'll get it down. When you pour gin in a cup of vodka, or <laughs> whatever you palace kids do. Get a little four horsemen going. You ever had one of those? They're unpleasant. Well, I've had a lot of men before, but never four horses. Baba baba booey, baba booey, baba booey. Baba We're the worst distraction right now for these guys. I don't think every, anybody like gets the Howard Stern references anymore. I didn't know what you were doing. I did it. <laughs> That's what they did when they said something risky. Um, really? There's a guy on there called Baba Booey. Baba booey, baba booey, baba booey. <laughs> we're definitely at Howard Stern status on this program. I wonder what the sound levels are like on this show, because I really can't tell. We're not even on the air right now. None of this, none of, none of this will air. I think the internet stream is down, so that's probably going to cut our audience down. It's a good deal. You think so? No. Why is the internet thing down? down? It's always down. It's like, oh, what? But our internet audience is huge. Time is up. Time's up. Yeah. Oh. Shut <laughs> up, <laughs> <laughs> I really forgot about Martini somehow. He just added that after. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Stencil has gin and tonic. Ooh, correct. We both started with that. Martini. I can't believe that didn't come to mind. Gin and juice. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> totally. I'll take that. Yeah. Gin <laughs> rang pour. I'll take that. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Gin you Bloody would. Mary. <laughs> I'll take it. Gin and pineapple ju- gin and juice is <laughs> gin and pineapple juice, right? That's called a palace when it's a gin and tonic with pineapple juice in it. Oh. Did not write palace. Oh. All right, <laughs> we're strict around here, man. How many points is that? That is five points, Mr. Ooh, Stencil. Nice. All right, Bart has gin and tonic. Correct. Gin gimlet. Yeah, correct. Sure. Gin and juice. Sure. Gin. Gin Mary. It's like a. Okay. Yeah. Um, gin and soda. Good to, you, good to you for that, Judge. I'm going to go ahead and... Is it close enough? Close it enough. is... Not close enough. That's ridiculous. Shot of gin. Yes! <laughs> Tom Collins. Yes! Martini. Don't yes. count Martini. Don't count Martini. I put it oh, in. Oh, yeah, he did put it put after it that. Right. Take it off. <laughs> Take it off. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> that is six. Six. To Bart. 
bringing him up to 21. Five to Clark, bring up to 17. Five point lead to Mr. Buckaloo. There's five minutes left. I tell you, I've seen a lot of races in my day, but I'm on like this. All right, uh, next category to Bart. Bart. Yeah. Uh, uh, George History. Ooh. Trying to help you out by not giving him the soda one. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sometimes I, you know, if you say something I like a lot, I'll just give you points. For you. Yeah. Um, what a kingly thing to say. <laughs> this, this George was a political advisor to Clinton before coming a staple on the NBC News Network. George Stephanopoulos. Oh, you're right. <laughs> George Stephanopoulos. Yeah. What, what were you saying? I said George Mitchell again. I don't know uh, who yeah. that is. <laughs> Sounds like somebody. Probably like your dentist or something. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. Um, let's have another George, please. I'm sure, right. you don't want to go with sitcoms. I don't <laughs> think there's confident. any left. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, there, yeah, there's George's left, but no sitcoms. This fictional father, this fictional animated father, resides with his family on the Sky Pad Apartments. In George Stetson. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, good God. I wasn't gonna say animated, but then I figured you know, make it easier. <laughs> Do you have any uh, Georges left? Yeah, we have some. Let's have another George. All right. This fictional, lovable loser held jobs such as a real estate agent, manuscript reader, screenwriter, hand model, sales rep. Oh, um, George Costanza. Costanza. George Costanza. Yeah. I got it first. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah. The one that gives it away, uh, assistant's a traveling secretary for New York Yankees. That's the best one. All right, I so thought hand model gave it away. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a yeah. good episode. Yeah, that was a great episode. Can I have George's again? No, it, or if there's not a sitcom, I'll have Oh, there's no George's left. You guys are burning through these. Are there no sitcoms? Nope, there's no sitcoms left. There's I'll have, uh, some poets left. I'll yes. have poets. All right. Uh, the upcoming film Anonymous is based on the mysterious identity of this famous English poet. Shakespeare. Yes. Bart knows his stuff. What do we have left? We've got some poets, some horror films, and some Thomases. We haven't done any of the Okay, yeah, let's try Thomas. Thomas. Is, uh, there's an archive of questions here. <laughs> All right. Classified. I don't go to the Christian lunch oh. thing, so. <laughs> this, is, this question was submitted by a listener, Jonathan, Jonathan Bruce. Um, recently, I tried to drink an entire bowl of Kool-Aid, which I almost <laughs> spit back up into the same bowl I was drinking out of. It was because it was my least favorite flavor of Kool-Aid. Great. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, I was going to say, what is my least favorite? Yeah. yeah. Bravo. Um, Nobody likes great. I'll have Thomas again. All right. Uh, uh, what was the first album I ever bought? Let It Be. I was going to say Let It Be. <laughs> no. Exile on Main Street. No, it was the best of Aretha Franklin. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I think Rolling Stones are, are closer to... Yeah, they got more soul. Yeah. I'm oh, not then let it be. Oh, oh my God! Clark gets it. Oh. <laughs> Clark was close enough. Well, that let the record hold. I like the Beatles more, but not let it be. Can I thought you liked the Doors a lot. No, I hate the Doors. <laughs> uh, all right, he's Let's mad at the Doors. Post. We got two minutes left. Uh, next question goes to Clark. Yes. Are we out of that? Bart still has a four-point lead. Wait, are we out of those? Audience. Audience. Yeah, we are. Yep. Uh, we'll have a another Thomas. <laughs> All right. I don't know shit about Thomas. <laughs> Although I attended Shambly High School, I no longer call Shambly home. Where is my current home away from Athens? Um, Decatur. Uh, Atlanta. Um, it's actually a little five points, but Decatur's a lot closer than uh, the big city of Atlanta, so I'll give it to Clark. But Decatur is more <laughs> wrong, I think. They're both in Decatur. Depending on where you went that I think we might each get a point. That wouldn't do anything for it. <laughs> oh, I know what you do. What do you think? Well, Cameron? well, it's on technicality because he does live. His little five is in the city limits, but it's not in Decatur. It's yeah, exactly. It's near Decatur. It seems. Well, I said Atlanta. I'll give it, I'll give it's, it's up to you, Cameron. To me, it seems like it's more with. I mean, it's within Atlanta. It like, there's something wrong about that. Little it's a part from around. Decatur, right? Does your license plate say Decatur? I don't have a car. Does your mother's license plate? She does not have a car. Decatur. Do license plates on the cars next to your house say Decatur? They say Decatur. Decatur's not a county. Interesting. 
Decatur That's is a city the of Decatur. Is it? South Georgia. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> I deserve a point for that. All right, give Clark a point. Yeah. Oh, God. The answer, and the show's over, the score is 24. <laughs> the 22. 22. Oh. Who's the winner, Cameron? Bart won by two points. Would you like to announce the prize that we have today? We have a VHS copy of the 1995 cyberpunk thriller hackers Ooh, yeah yeah let me point awesome. something out on the on the on the Please cover do. here the critic says the best cyber film of the year how many cyber films do you think came out in 1995 who's the genius angelina jolie in 95 thanks randall blom of k2 tv abc K2 TVs, but that's where I go to. <laughs> the best cyber film of the year. It's, it's really All right, good. thanks everybody really for good. listening. Thank you. It's nice. been close enough. Close enough. Who do we have on next week, Kevin? I have no idea. I don't even. I'm not, it's not my department. Me either.